What's going on guys? This is Mickey Martin coming at you with a different kind of video and I'm sure you read the title. This one is going to be about how I got over the Omicron, the Omicron, Omn this one's going to be about how I got over the Omicron virus. Now I'm still on the tail end of it. Um, I've been experiencing it the last week or so. So I'm going to go about this in chronological order. I'm going to go over what worked and what didn't work so you can learn from my mistakes. And if you're unfortunate enough to get this, you'll be able to take care of yourself. For the first two days, so initially my friend had tested positive and he let me know and he's the type of friend that hangs out with me frequently. Um, so we had been hanging out that week and since he had it, once I started feeling sick, I was under the assumption that I had it and sure enough I did. But those first two days of me feeling sick was just standard like be in bed, feel like you need to be warm. You really want to stock up on the vitamin C which I was doing, chugging water. Um, they sell high pH water at Costco way better than normal water. If you haven't checked out high pH water, check out high pH water. Almost everything you eat is acidic. So if you drink something that's the opposite of acidic, which is alkaline, it's gonna balance you out a whole lot faster than normal water. So I was drinking my water and eating my vitamin C. I kept getting sicker, which I knew was gonna happen. And then eventually I got to a point to where I felt like my chest was very tight and I was almost holding back a heart attack is what it felt like, or I had like a blood clot in my lung. And a little pre-story for you guys, I am a 420 user and I also use one of these nicotine vapes. And so that's who I am as a person. Um, I do damage my lungs in that sense on a daily basis. So when I got into this, my lungs were really affecting me. I stopped smoking, stopped smoking weed, and I just laid in bed drinking my vitamin C and water, not getting any better. And what this really felt like, if you're familiar, is way back in college, I used to mess around with some mushrooms or some acid, some psychedelics. And there's a certain sensation at the end of your trip when you're laying in bed and you're still wired awake, your brain is going, your joints still don't feel right, they're cracking every time you move them, your teeth feel weird and your spit's thin. That's how I felt for a week. and. Normally, like a 12 hour acid trip, if you don't know, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm getting so into this right now, but like 12 hours is enough for that mindset. A week is crazy. And so I was dealing with it. I wasn't able to sleep more than like three or four hours a night, no matter how hard I tried. I'd be up until like four in the morning and I'd be right back up at eight in the morning. And I didn't want to be. My eyes were on fire the whole time, but my mind was wired and I was so anxious from holding back this sensation in my chest that I didn't want to sleep. I didn't know what was gonna happen if I fell asleep. And I am alone here, so no one would find me if something happened to me. So what I did is I went out and I bought some NyQuil. It was late at night, so I went to 7-Eleven and got some 7-Eleven brand NyQuil. And I strongly don't suggest you get this. This made all of my anxiety worse. It didn't help me sleep. I was, I was sitting there and now this is making me feel kind of weird in the head now and I'm sitting here with all these same symptoms. And so I, I strongly suggest don't buy any NyQuil. It's not worth it. So just stick with your water, vitamin C. And what I ended up buying after the NyQuil was some airborne chewable tablets and I was in the store and they, some of them said nine vitamins and herbs. This one I think says 13, yeah, 13 vitamins and herbs, which is gonna just placebo the heck out of you, you know? It's got four more than the other one. But, so these made me feel on top of the world. But the only problem with them is they gave me a lot of energy because there's so, much, so many vitamins and vitamin C in there. It's just boosting you up. And so when you do want to go to bed, that's not going to help that insomnia feeling at night. But during the day, the Airborne was a game changer. It made it so I could leave the house and go on road trips. I'm not going to go hang out with other people, of course, but I went and took the dogs up into the mountains. Felt totally fine for the day until I came back home and tried to go to sleep. Now, I fought it out for another night after that. And then the next day, the sensations were getting worse. It was really strong and I felt like twitching on my left side. And it was probably all in my head, but my mind kind of spirals out of control like that when I'm alone and I'm out of control of my own situation. So that's where I was. I fought it out for another day 
And then on the next day, I finally called my mom. I was like, Ma, I don't know what to do. This is what's going on. And she's like, okay, let me do a little research. I'll call you back. And she called me back in like 60 seconds. She said, hey, the government will cover the ER as long as it's COVID related. That's what happened with your father. I was like, cool. So she's like, go on in. I did, went in and it was a typical ER session. Um, I went to a newer ER. They got me in and out in like two and a half hours, which I'm not used to. It's like a really well-oiled machine. Um, but they drew my blood, tested that, did an X-ray. They did a COVID test in my nose, which I've never had before. And that sucked. They all the way up in your nose, both sides. Like I was screaming profanities at the nurse. Like, what are you doing? What, what is this? You just took my blood. You can't tell from my blood. Now you got to... Anyway, so that happened. And then um, eventually they were gonna release me because everything looked fine. And I'm, I am 27 years old. Um, so they weren't too worried about me even though I was worried about myself. And I asked the doctor straight up, do you have something that can help me sleep at night that will also get rid of this anxiety? Cause that's all that's killing me right now. And so he did give me something. Let me see, it's called hydrooxine. Probably not a good idea to show this label on here, but whatever. But hydrooxine, and this is supposed to help you sleep at night, and it's also supposed to get rid of the anxiety. So I took one of those right when I got home from the ER today. Like literally, I was in the ER today. I still need to get all these stupid stickers off me from the ECG. They're on my chest too. They had to shave my chest hair to put these stickers on me. <laughs> but anyway. So I took one of these pills right when I got home from the ER today and I laid in bed. It didn't help me go to sleep even though I was tired, but my, my panic attack feeling, my anxiety was still like in the back of my mind, but it wasn't up front at all. It was totally under control. I knew it was there. I knew I still needed to be careful, but it was, I feel a lot better after that stuff. Um, now the only thing that I wanted to fix from there was my sleep because we're talking a week of only sleeping four hours a night when typically I like to sleep as long as I can, <laughs> you know? So I went out and I got some CBD gummies with a little bit of THC and I'm in Washington. So I'm in a state where I can go to the store and buy these. And a lot of states are turning that way. So I feel like this will be good information for you guys. But these are four to one, meaning there's four times as much CBD as there is THC in these. and that's enough. So taking a week off when normally I would dab, taking a week off doing something like this is going to be enough for you. It'll be something to get you going again. It'll get you to sleep, which is the most important part. And then that CBD is also going to just compound on top of that hydrooxine and just get rid of your anxiety. So right now I'm feeling good. I took a nap earlier. I'm getting ready to go to bed again tonight but I wanted to put this video out there and give you guys this information because who knows, like tomorrow could be a day that you get it. And one more thing I wanted to mention, let me take my hat off and put it back on for this. I wasn't gonna get vaccinated and now I am. So like that friend who got tested and told me that I probably have it as well, his girlfriend is vaccinated and she's just fine. They sleep in the same bed at night. She is just fine. So that's proof enough for me that the vaccine works. So I'm gonna go get that done as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be posting more guitar videos here soon as well as some more songs for you guys. But I hope you guys take it easy out there. If you guys have any questions, please just let me know down in the comment section. I do respond to all of them, but you guys, Peace, 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 peace.